Hey everybody, this is the first example in the structural dynamics section. Here's a problem statement. We have a simply supported beam having a concentrated weight at its midspan as shown below. Assume that the mass of beam the mass of the beam is negligible in comparison to the mass of the concentrated weight and neglect the effects of damping and we're asked to determine the equation of motion, the natural circular frequency, the period and the natural frequency. And here we have our figure below and here's the simply supported beam and we have a weight in the uh, in the middle which is equal to uh, which weighs 10 kips and the second moment of inertia of the beam is 200 inch to the fourth power Young's modulus is equal to 29,000 KSI and the total length is equal to 20 feet and the first thing we'll do is uh, also in the figure it shows that the time varying externally applied time varying force equals zero so the first thing we'll do is we'll get the equation of motion and the standard equation of motion is equal to the mass here times the acceleration plus the damping times uh, the velocity plus the stiffness times the displacement is equal to a time varying force so in our case we know that the damping effects are zero and we know that the externally applied time varying force is equal to zero so this equation can simply be can be simplified so it's mass times acceleration plus stiffness times displacement and this equals zero and so we'll divide through by m the mass and so the equation of motion is finally acceleration plus the stiffness divided by mass times the displacement equals zero the second thing next step we'll go into is calculate the mass and the stiffness the mass is simply equal to the weight divided by the gravitational acceleration and so we know that the weight is equal to 10 kips which is equal to 10,000 pounds divide that by the gravitational acceleration here which is 386.4 inches per second squared and then we get 25.9 pounds second squared per inch this is our mass term here and next thing we'll do is calculate the stiffness and the stiffness for a simply supported beam with the load at the center is equal to 48 times e times i divided by l cubed and in this um, video we won't be uh, we won't be deriving this stiffness term but it's it can be derived so we just plug in the numbers uh, 48 times 29,000 ksi uh, 29,000 KSI multiplied by I which is 200 inch to the fourth power and then uh, divide by L cubed so in our case since L is in feet we need to get it into inches so 20 feet times 12 inches per feet and just cube that value so the final value for the stiffness is equal to 20.139 kips per inch and this equals in pounds is 20,139 pounds per inch once we have the mass and stiffness we can calculate the natural circular frequency and the natural circular frequency is equal to the square, square root of stiffness divided by stiffness divided by mass so we just plug in the numbers that we uh, obtained previously stiffness is 20,139 pounds per inch divided by the mass 25.9 and take the square root and we get 27.88 radians per second after calculating uh, the natural circular frequency we can move on and calculate the natural period and the formula for that is equal to period the natural period equals 2 pi divided by the divided by omega the natural circular frequency so we just plug in the numbers 2 pi divided by 27.88 radians per second and we get 0.23 seconds for our natural period once we have the natural period we can finally get the natural frequency which is simply the inverse of the period so frequency equals 1 divided by t the period so we just plug in 1 divided by 0 0.23 seconds and we get 4.35 hertz so now that we've calculated everything uh, if we can just go back to the equation of motion we can see that the left hand side of uh, that the left hand side of the equation contains no energy dissipation or damping term so this vibration is uh, is called undamped vibration 
And since the right-hand side of the equation of motion has no externally applied time-varying force and is set to zero, that means this type of uh, this type of vibration is called free vibration when it's in the absence of some type of externally applied force. And this uh, and free vibration is typically caused by some type of initial displacement or velocity to the mass. And this is ex end of example number one. Thanks.